So, welcome everyone, and um, we're back with something new from Technologic. So today, I want to do a one-week review of the iPhone 11 Pro. So I have the 64 gig space gray, but, um, you know, you probably know what one looks like by now. We're going to have a direct input of the display here, for the simple reason, so I can show some things, such as the battery and uh, how it's been so the initial performance of the phone has been great the speed of the phone has been great the quality the speakers everything's been great i'm gonna i'll put up a separate speaker test in a few minutes um battery life has been great so if i just go here to three yeah 32 percent my 32% which is from well general button show you the display accessible wallpaper Syrian face up image battery but settings so if we go in here you can see battery level heading battery here, last charge the, level 100% 9 6 the last charge level is 100% at 906 last 9 days button and if I go battery health to button battery health here phone batteries like all the chargeable ba phone batteries cool battery health phone, maximum capacity 100% set 100% and just battery health here. button um you can see here the usage. No usage. Bat, 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 battery level 100. Um, battery level. Battery. 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 Game world. Game Nine. world. So show activity. You can see show here activity. if you bring that up. Show FaceTime. 10 h meters on screen. 10 hour. Uh, a lot of FaceTime in the last 24 hours. Phone. 23 meters on screen. 23 um, minutes. Instagram. 21 so meters on screen. Instagram. YouTube. Phone calls. 22 so meters on screen. One Settings. Page and two on five. Adjustable. If Settings. I just go into. Set. Just swipe back Settings. here. Access. This and then general. I go Button. to Button. my. Background app. iPhone. If I go to my iPhone storage here. iPhone. iPhone. 23.5. You can see that I have 23 iPhone, 23.4 gigabytes on 64 gigabytes, gigabytes used. Of 64 gigabytes used, which is not bad, coming from the 128 gigabyte iPhone 11, which we have over there, which I'm actually going to do a similar thing on, but we called it directly from the 11 Pro. Um, but the impressions after a week are the design is great, the battery life is on another level, uh, you know, the performance of this phone is great um the coming coming from the iphone 11 you probably wouldn't notice that much difference but to me whether i imagined it or not which i'm not too convinced i did but for me the performance is actually better i actually prefer the performance on the 11 pro i find it slightly quicker the speakers i find to be slightly more balanced possibly not louder but more full um the size difference to me wasn't a big issue. You can just see here an iPhone screen. I don't really know why we particularly need to look at that, but it's there. Um, you can see my setup here because, yeah, you can go here. Um, you can see here we've got plenty of apps on here. And um, we have plenty of storage given, given what we have on this phone. We actually have plenty of storage, so it's fine. The phone actually is working well. Um, and yeah, they're great impressions of it. Um, it's reliable. The cameras on the back are like in a triangle. It's still slightly, not too sure what I think, but I don't hate it. I just find it hilarious that there's two um, above each other. And then you have one that sticks out on the other side. I don't, like I said, it's not a bad thing. It just is slightly different to what I expect, what I expected it to be like. I actually saw one in an Apple store and had a slightly different image of what I was getting. So when I unboxed it, it was slightly different, slightly different surprise, but it was fine. And um, yeah, you know, it worked quite well. It was, it's been reliable to me. Um, Speech on, two, 32. You can see we're still on 32%. Maps. And Clock. we're Mail. doing all this in one. Mails. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works well. The map back I love. One thing I wasn't sure about is if you do crack the phone, how the map back is going to respond, but I guess we'll find that out over time. I'm not 100% sure how that will respond, like I just said, but we'll find that out. We'll see where that ends up taking us to. 
And uh, yeah, but you know, it's been a great phone. It works. The display is is good from what I hear. Um, as I said, battery life's great. The cellular reception is great for signal and stuff, and you get your four G and everything. So yeah, it's it's a great phone.